Yeah. Hello. All right, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Zeldathon Recovery. This is the, well, I, I guess this is like losers' quarters right now. This is losers' quarters of our of our Smash side event. Um, I just want to be clear to everybody who who knows me or Marissa or someone from our local Smash scene. This stream is not in any way optimized for Smash. Uh, myself and the other commentators that join me will be commentating on one microphone that will oh. throw back and forth between us. And there's. And there's about a solid, okay, that's really loud. You want to talk about not optimize? It's a thing that comes with resetting the stream. Hey, what if, what if we... All right, and we're back. That should be a lot better. Like I said, this stream is not in any way optimized for Smash, and evidently the audio wasn't optimized for anything. But that's okay, because we've we got, we got to have to take care of that. Like I said, this is Loser's Quarters now uh, between Zeldathon's own Marissa and Gaylord MC. That is his official crew, as pointed out by me. I'm Zach A.K. Bushel of Chili Goodness, joined by Candidate's Finest, Vidya James. All right, just a QS into the match. Uh, we're looking at Marissa's Yoshi. Um, arguably the best Yoshi at Zeldathon. We do have a few Yoshi mains. Uh, arguably. 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 Uh, fighting off against Zeldathon's only Dark Pit. Uh, the set history between these two. These guys only played each other once, and that was at uh, last marathon, where Marissa 2 0 MC. Hold on, don't move. I believe it was 2 1, actually. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I know Marissa won the set, so Marissa has a lot to, uh, lots to do. So. Yep. Looks like we just, uh, you guys want to do some hand, are you guys doing hand warmers um, first? Or? Is this just hand warmers? What you doing? No, we're going straight into it. Straight straight into it. it. Alright, um, alright. Yeah. Sure. Right. So yeah, if you guys go to zelbathon.challenge.com, <laughs> you see it in the chat there, uh, you'll be able to see all the brackets and follow along and see how everyone does. Alright, hop, hop Ooh, right into it, just feeling them out, just feeling <laughs> themselves out. Alright, solid F smash from MC there, trying to start things off nice and strong. Yeah, we got, uh, this is an interesting matchup. I feel like uh, MC's Dark Pit is very, very aggressive, whereas Marissa definitely goes for a more defensive style. Um, she is a master with the egg throws. It really, really trips you up when you're playing against her. It's honestly kind of like playing uh, Melee Chalco in that the eggs just kind of win the neutral for you. I mean, it's really important. You have to have to, you have to have the ability to manage those eggs when you're playing as Yoshi. It's an excellent spacing option. It prevents a character like Dark Pit, who has a great rush down from getting in close and really messing things up for you. So I suppose I should talk about the curse of uh, me watching Marissa. Every time I've watched one of Marissa's sets so far, she's lost. And every time, every time she plays a set now, she tells me to leave the room. And uh, we'll see what happens now, now that I'm watching. Unfortunately, we needed commentators. I did it. And uh, since Jamie isn't on stream for a little bit, uh, he volunteered. And we got, we got Zelda's finest commentators. Let's go, Marissa. You got this. Bring it back. <laughs> Alright, MC's jumped out to quite the early lead here. He's doing a great job of using of using the DP rush down. No, Marissa with a great air and the up smash. Look at the finisher Look with that did. bread and butter up air. Let's go. That down B is super powerful. Down B is absolute fire. Oh, there we yeah, go! Let's that's go. the down B. Doesn't oh, kill yet. That's Battlefield. Battlefield so. is the deep melee dreamland of Smash 4. <laughs> Going back, resetting a little bit, trying to get... This is a last hit scenario. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes, not usually. Oh, Mercy going for the down B again. Doesn't get it. I feel like uh, she does use that a lot, and it does I don't want to have, uh, this quite a bit of knockback. And beyond that, honestly, I found playing friendlies with her, it has a like very few uh, lag frames at the end, so it really, really isn't that punishable. Oh, the up smash! <laughs> Mercy was working hard for that I'll fair for spike. It. Instead, just a, a simple player. up smash. That'll always do it. Oh, Melee like Fox sucks. <laughs> I Thank you for that fantastic commentary. We esports now. All right, going back to feeling each other out. It's really simple for MC to get the kill here. All he needs is one solid up air, and that should do it. Marissa got that rage though, and the down air. 
put her on 14 already. Ooh. Rage, absolutely the best mechanic in Smash 4 by a mile. There's that up air I talked about. <laughs> yeah. Rage is the worst. Why can't I wave land? Why can't I wave land? Where am you I play the wrong game. What happens if you try to wave that? Oh, you, uh, you do yeah, this. You, you just jump in your dodge. You use a fairy. Yeah, you use your fairy. Don't do it. For fortunately, air dodge doesn't reset in this game, so. Uh, this is like person kind of taking control of this stock, but uh, it's still very early on. I don't know what's going to happen. Tossing out an up air out of nowhere there. Looking for that up air. This is just a battle of the up air. They just trading back and forth. Down throw. Goes for the risky fair spike. Doesn't quite hit it. Oh, up smash. Not getting all the frames. MC just going for up smash here. Marissa goes for the grab, gets it. Catching the roll. That's actually uh, something I've ordered me to do just this morning. Alright, chat, I want you to post. Who do you want to win? MC or Marissa? Post now. Vote now on your phones. And they voted so hard yeah. that it, uh. Crush the system. Yeah. Break the system. Falls right in the F smash. MC looking to juggle. Ooh. Does get the up air. I'm trying to work with this. Marissa lands on the platform. Shields the up air. That up air will kill in just about 10%. Oh, wait for the side B. Yo, this game's awesome. These guys are going back and forth. This is fun to watch. Oh, that egg throw. Let's go. Ooh, the lead, but this is the up smash. Just barely. Down throw. There it is. That's the up air. The bread. Oh, 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 and that match in spot and style with the fair spike. That fair spike is the ultimate swag with Yoshi. Every Yoshi main, everyone who's ever played a Yoshi knows exactly how that works. <laughs> there you go, Falco Master. Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined now live on couch by the Falco Lombardi. Yeah! <laughs> There's no melee in that. Falco, Falco, how do you feel about being a D-tier character in this game? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say. Uh, oh, you you, no, you man. You I man. 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 One. Duck hunt and Dreamland are now legal. Yep. I won't take us to yeah, duck hunt, so don't bother banning it. Okay. I'll be a lie Smash me. Yeah, whatever. All right. Where are we going? Wasn't even looking. All right, started before game two. Let's get this going. We're losers, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, we're losers. All right, cool. Facing this out, Ooh. an egg fair, 76%. There's that fair. Com great combo starter. Really, really right now. She's doing a good job. It just really, really uh, makes it hard for MC to approach, which is just throwing out eggs constantly. She got the Ooh. unlimited ammo glitch there. Tossing out those eggs. IFG Yoshi. Right. Got that back air. Threw out a fair spike just in case MC super rolled right into it, but he's a little bit better than that. Super roll. MC loves super going for that side B, and I, I think it's very punishable, so I don't, I'm not sure. Keep your feet option. right on the ground. Dark Pit, uh, Dark Pit side B is absolutely his most punishable option. He doesn't have that many punishable moves except for uh, there's a little bit of ending lag on some of the aerials, but uh, the more you throw out that side oh, B, the more chance of you yeah, yourself to get hit. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, missing the uh, up air there. Tries to read the air dodge, but it's not happening. Yeah, but she does have quite a bit of a lead uh, going into this spot. Uh, oh, nice. like super armor is right through that egg yeah, with the side B. Armor. Unfortunately, that egg was no match for the flames yeah, of heaven. Like I'm not sure why uh, that down B starts in her fist, but he gets the F smash punish, so he's good on MC. Ooh, goes for the dash grab. She gets it. Oh! <laughs> Wait for that money up air, didn't hit it. MC was able to get a dare out of it. Ooh, all right. She uh, almost uh, danger there for MC, but uh, managed to dodge the down B. All right, let's see. Uh, they're both, they do not want to approach right now. They're just just that. Staying back. The thing is, get they it, both have projectiles that camp each other out. Oh, but I think this uh, uses, I haven't seen uh, MC yeah, get the stock. Gets the stock with that up smash. Marissa kind of fell right into it. You can't be doing that. However, Dark Pits a 117, and this won't be too hard to get the kill if Marissa can get something going. I was going to say, I haven't seen MC yeah, use Pit Arrows does. once, whereas M, uh, Marissa's much better by I think. Oh my god, the double fair. Let's go. The double, double. double. Oh! The triple, the triple. <laughs> double fair stage spike finishes with that money. Yo, the, 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 uh, the fair spike, the stage spike into up air, that's actually the video games. You don't even play this character. <laughs> The, 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 the bush of the chewy goodness is eight fair spikes in a row, and then you go two and two. <laughs> human human highlight reel that goes two and two. What's up, guys? No, you you, you uh, get eight fair spikes, and then you choke it out because you can't punch it out. Exactly, exactly. I call it the Zack against Snoople. Get 12 fair spikes in a row, and then choke. Yeah. 
Rissa managing to bring it back, and shields the side B. Good on her, but uh, it's a pretty much even at this point. Let's see what happens. Rissa playing extremely defensively, not wanting to give any room to MC, whose Dark Pit can absolutely take over a set. I know this because I played doubles with him one time. We were fire. Yeah, that was sick. Marissa actually uh, jumped over the side B and used the fair and managed to get um, uh, smash off of it. I don't remember. I'm, I'm not even like, I'm going a mile a minute right now. Right. It's too hard to keep track. I mean, it's, it's really hard to commentate when you're using <laughs> one microphone that we have to toss it's back hard. and forth between each other. I've never commentated like this except here. Yeah. A reminder that this is tournament stock for MC. If he loses, he is out of the tournament. Cool. He goes on to I'm fight sorry. Sora and loser semis. At 108%, yeah, though, what's great about those eggs is they just rack up a solid 5% video, every single time. It's like money if you're accurate. There you go. Well, she got another one. Now? And yeah. she's fishing for the up air, doesn't get it, and MC is able to punish with a back air. With one punishing aerial from <gasps> MC, we're going to game three, and he's looking to set that up. Just might be able to. Throws out the fair, doesn't quite hit it. Goes for no! a risky side beat, but there's no punish. Ooh. And that, that won't was kill either. Back 138, <laughs> one hit away. Absolutely one oh, hit away. Goes yeah. for the risky down B, and it's not going to do it. Yeah. We got a game three, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. One more game, Sora. I'm so tired. I just, I just want to show everybody my tag so they laugh, and then I can go to sleep. Yeah. Here's like that. Bye. Big trouble there when you go for punishable moves like that down B. You're opening, you're opening yourself up to a massive punish, and that's exactly what MC was capable of doing there. Are they going for game three? Okay. Wait. Yes. Legal. Okay. I forgot which our first. Wild Battlefield. Yes. All right, going out, going to Town and City game three. Trying to use those platforms to set up some money, fair, or up air combos. I can feel that from Marissa. Definitely get that. Watching out those eggs early on. Gets a 10% early. Uh, finally seeing an arrow from MC. That's Arrows are nice. Shut up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> How else are you supposed to counter the eggs, MC? Uh, you, you don't. You take the hit and you don't. All right. Th this matchup is ideally a battle of projectiles and punishing, but MC is electing to take a different approach. Nice fair from Marissa there, but MC covers with a down air. Marissa just throwing out these fairs like it's the like it's we a state stack. fair. Literally, okay. <laughs> literally everything Marissa oh. hit MC so far with has been eggs and forward airs. And she's going, she's continuing to space them out, zone them out with the eggs. Uh, it seems to be working so far, but uh, MC seems to be going in more aggressive and getting more hits. Um, all Marissa's depending on right now is eggs. Absolutely using those eggs to keep MC's solid punish game away. He's great at using DP's brush down. What? And, uh, Marissa, uh, Marissa get a lot of hits on that back air. Fishing for the up air again, but doesn't get it. MC's able to recover. Get on stage. <laughs> oh! So tricky, Marissa tricky, went tricky, for the hard read there of uh, going for a forward smash, but MC was able to counter it with a quick forward air, and uh, Marissa wasn't able to get it off. That would have absolutely killed him. Oh, there <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah, though. Yeah. Let's go. Another, kill. another nice punishable guy. side B by MC. Doesn't quite kill in Dark Pedestrian recovery to make it back, but another mistake like that, and he's down to turning stock once more. So let's see what happens. Marissa with the up smash, roll back no, behind. Punter and MC misses, and Marissa goes with the up smash. Oh, Looking like Melee Fox knocking out those up smashes, baby. Fox sucks. I'd like to thank Jamie for his quality, consistent commentary <laughs> next to me. All right, just feeling each other out. Marissa 108. If MC can get one string together, we're going to be back to an even match. Oh, all right. Marissa doing a good job dodging off stage there, but uh, MC still got her in a good position. Went for a down in an interesting position. Dark Fit has trouble moving around those platforms sometimes, and it can be easy to catch him on there. Well, looks like Nurse is able to keep her stock alive, but for how long is the question? How much extra credit can she get before MC takes that stock? It probably will happen. I don't know. Maybe rage will happen and Nurse will get another kill. The Towner City does have the lowest ceiling of all the legal stages, so Nurse might get an early up air kill or something. I don't know what's going to happen. Exactly what I was saying. She's been money with those up airs all set. If she can get one more, that will be it. Oh, but he just tosses just out take it. Smash just take out of nowhere. We're fine. We're good. <laughs> this is going to be a mountain to climb for MC because uh, he has that 64. And Marissa is pretty good at holding her leads. Um, he's able to recover. Gotta watch out for those fairs. Marissa's very good at landing those. Even if you think you're not going to hit by them, she's, it has a much larger hitbox than you might think. And goes for the down air. That's a pretty Whoa, safe that's landing so option, I think. Marissa fishing for that JV. It doesn't quite get it as MC's able to knock an aerial into there. My kill here. Let's see. Oh, nope. All right. Gets the low up there. Doesn't kill just yet. But Counter City does have a low ceiling, so we might see it soon. Oh, gets the super armor. Dodges up the up air. Punish punishable down B. 
into a fair, looking to string some stuff together. A punish dash attack with the back throw there. Just spacing each other out, misses with the egg. Shields it there, that could be it. Oh, went for a back air instead of an up air. Not sure it would have connected anyhow, but a valid effort nonetheless. Yep, Marissa. There it is, oh, up smash, that kills. Down down there. There. <laughs> Let's go, Marissa wins right. the set. Cool. GG's MC. All right, Marissa's yeah, advancing to losers finals. Uh, what's, the, what's the next, losers semis, I mean. What's the, net, what's the next match? All right, next up we have Sora 107 with uh, with the campiest, jankiest Ness I've ever seen. Not that I'm salty or anything because he knocked me out of winners versus Marissa. It's to be a pretty good matchup, Yoshi versus Ness. Uh, two characters that are sometimes regarded in the community as being uh, quote unquote annoying, stupid gimmick characters. But uh, we'll, we'll, both, both these players are pretty good with him. We'll see what they got. Oh my God, right? So, um, I don't believe these two have ever played each other in a tournament before, but. No, all right, so sort of use default control, so we should be uh, fine uh, to just get his name in. Uh, so Sora, so a little history of how he's done a past tournament. Um, his best performance was absolutely Zelda Deluxe, where he took second, um, only losing to me. So, uh, and then last tournament, uh, he actually beat, he took a set off me last time, so we're currently two and one in sets. So uh, definitely one of Zelda Thon's finest, for I'm sure. Yeah, he had to go home early, unfortunately, so uh, we didn't get to see him against uh, Frosty Z or Abra, but uh, maybe Winter, Winter. He was he was definitely playing well going into that tournament. This is one of Zelda Thon's better players. Uh, he just wants to throw out as a counter to the game, a hard counter to that famous game theory. Uh, Ness is not Sans, so he's very passionate about this issue, and we hope that uh, his, his intellectual capabilities regarding this issue will carry him over into this match. Um, Everyone loves Sora's tag. I don't know. Okay, so who, who won Rock, Paper, Scissors? I'll ban Lila. Good, because that would be the early ban on Lila, getting that out of the way right yeah. now. Nobody likes Lila. I don't know what else I can ban. Uh, so the legal stages are FD, Battlefield, the two Animal Crossings, and Lila. Well, we banned Lila. I ban FD. And you ban Wolfhook. And, uh, Town and City. Alright. Right. So you get to choose between Battlefield and Snyderville. Let's go. This may be the first time in the Let's history go. of competitive Smash 4 that when when faced with the choice between Battlefield and Smashville, a player chose Battlefield. As I mentioned earlier, Battlefield is uh, the melee dreamland of Smash 4. The blast zones in this stage are actually the largest of any stage uh, as far as legals go. So we're going to see probably a longer game. You know, kills won't happen until later on when the higher percent. Yeah, let's happening. do it. Strangely enough, the way Sora plays, when Sora is in trouble, he goes yeah. to something of a campier nest. We're playing some baseball here, and a stage this large will definitely be advantageous for Sora when he goes to camp. Yeah, looking like uh, early lead from Rissa. Jumping out of the uh, PK fire, that's very, very important because PK fire is something, if you get caught in it, you're going to get grabbed by Ness, and he has a lot he can do off of grabs. That is pretty much how you play Ness. Get grabs, forward air, you know, up air, whatever you want. But Marissa seems to be doing a good job so far of not getting grabbed, and gets the nair. Let's go. Ooh. Throws out a hot fair, but it's spot dodge. You're not going to get those reads quite that easy. Sora doing a great job of not getting smacked by those eggs. He's doing a great job of just holding his ground. Some might call it camping. I call it defensive strategy. Ooh. Looking to avoid getting hit too much and taking too much percent, and then getting in there and rushing and take the hit when he can. All right, Ness is definitely running away with it so far. Uh, Ness back throw is definitely something you have to watch out for, though. It kills very, very early. Maybe not so much on battlefield, but here we go. Sora definitely plays this defensive Ness. Uh, he, he has had some issues in the past getting in close. Uh, but that's why he's trying to reflect those projectiles, and Marissa rushes down, hits an up smash. Doesn't kill, but it will kill if it happens another time. This is doing such a good job dodging PK fire so far. Uh, but he was able to get a grab, uh, punishing Marissa's attempted grab. Yoshi does have a very, very punishable dash grab, which is unfortunate. But you really have to come here. He gets a grab there. Uh, trying to read the air dodge. Up smash! Wow, I can't believe that went through the platform. It goes Some through the entire platform. Sometimes you get stuck on that platform and you're not you're not getting out of there if you get stuck up on that. Sorry, Sora couldn't quite camp from right above. Marissa discovering very quickly that uh, Yoshi's double jump actually gets him out of PK fire. That super armor is not something you mess around with. Yoshi's double jump, commonly considered one of the best in the game. Not only a recovery option, but it makes for an okay. excellent oh. close range defense option. She gets out of the way. Just feeling each other out. What? The, the holy ritual is complete. They will, yes. they will now continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. 
Uh, definitely, definitely joking around a little bit. Um, there you go. Yeah. So, the thing about Yoshi in this game compared to previous games, uh, I think once Brawl started, double jump canceling was no longer a thing. So now Yoshi can use attacks while maintaining all velocity in the double jump. Yo, that down air, that put out a lot of damage. So it's almost up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to put him almost at Marissa. So he's a full stock lead at this point. Elected not to go for the up air instead of using the swag fair. That is definitely appreciated by all the viewers out there. Yeah. Uh, Marissa looking to run away with this game. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, she gets the kill exactly the same as the first stock. Wow. Battlefield does seem to be a good option for Yoshi with that up smash going through the platform. Uh, game one going to Marissa. I have to say I'm honestly a little surprised. I have to say I'm honestly a little surprised it was just it was a two stock. Like that's actually incredible. Marissa with her only loss in tournament coming to Jiggy representing the Jig Nation. This is Jig Nation, Bushel of Chewy Goodness on commentary, so forgive me if I'm slightly biased in my commentary. We're, we're not esports oh, here. We're Sora, the Sora, Sora, Sora is going to win. Let's go, Sora. This, Sora, don't do it. Sora. this might be an example of throwing in the towel a little bit. No, I, think, I, I, I think this is, listen, this is, this is the day that I became a Sora 107 fan. I've been in case you were wondering if we're esports here, uh, to all of my Smash friends from the Cleveland Smash community and from Pittsburgh, if you think this tournament is esports at all, I hope you think otherwise now. We're even going to Omega on it. Only appropriate for the Nest main. Alright, this might be something. This might be something. Let's see, let's see. Will he become the Armada of Smash 4? <laughs> Yo, the taunts. These guys are not serious right now. Just down smash, dude. Just down smash. Walk up slowly and down smash. Let's see it. Although, yeah, no. Peach, spin to win. Same as always. Yo. Some things in life never change. Gets that grab. Marissa recovers. Was looking for a dare there, but she was a little too high up, and Sora's not going to just walk into that. Sora, do you have any idea how to play Peach? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not like criticizing you. I'm just wondering. Have you ever played Peach? Nope. All right. <laughs> Actually, has done a I've solid 12 percent. Every character, other than Peach. What? <laughs> Pushing for that up air. This is easy money. Grab with the up air. We could do this all day, folks. Oh, Sora, I love you. Go. Uh, yeah, Marissa does seem to be running away with it a little bit. Yo, the, the side piece, though. Let's go, let's go. Hacha, hacha. Oh, oh, so, oh, the fair. Oh, oh, what a combo. Let's go. The eternal question by going random in tournament, does Sora 107 represent the end of esports? Yeah. Uh, three words there. We tech those. Yeah. Yeah. Looking on in disgust. See you in winners' finals. Yo, Sora, no! Oh, no! no! <laughs> it's a slow fade when you give yourself away. A nice two stock from Marissa. Granted, Sora had never played that character before, but we won't talk about that. She's hot going into Losers Finals, folks. I'm so happy you went random. You're my hero. <laughs> uh, yep, so Marissa making her way to Losers Finals. Guaranteed third place. Next up, myself versus Jiggy. I got to my goal, and my goal is top three. All right, she got top three. That was her goal. Yay. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I'm on solo commentary at this point, which is actually preferable because that means I don't have to throw a mic back and forth between two people, unless my my noted doubles partner and uh, partner partner in crime would like to commentate with me. Let's go, dude. All right, um, this is this is once again Jig Nation Bush of Chewy Goodness joined by Gaylord MC on the mic. How are we playing against? Hello everyone, I'm very excited to be here today. <laughs> MC, have you ever commentated before? Uh, yeah, I ah, actually commentated yeah. at uh, one of the Mars uh, locals. Did, did you really? Yeah. That's, that's sick, dude. Yeah, it's, it's great. Uh, what's, what's going on here? We see have a, an entrance for me from Jiggy. Is he going to be playing with uh, sunglasses? Because that oh, will yeah, hamper his vision. And Video James has taken the time to put on cool a guess. VG Bootcamp hoodie to show that he is truly in sports. <laughs> Alright, we have VG Bootcamp versus literally it's MLG Jiggy here right now. I'd like to note that uh, that Jamie won this hoodie by losing to a member of VG Bootcamp. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Jamie did in, Jamie did in fact win this hoodie by being Dem bodied cool by Tantalus. There is a video of it out there. Damn cool cats in chat. Okay. I lost to Jiggy in 
winner. I, I yeah. appreciate your statement that uh, I appreciate your oh, statement. You this is great commentary. Yeah, it's actually extremely Sweet. difficult because I have to throw a mic back and forth between yeah, myself yeah. and the other commentator. Yeah. Uh, we well, don't do actually, it like this in Cleveland. So uh, quick notes while we get all set up here. Uh, we had uh, two donations. Ronnie with thirteen twelve. Trism said, "That's right, though. Go, Marissa." Wolf Ooh, Boy, nineteen ninety eight said. Smash tournament where the men are men, the women are women, and the memes are dank. Yep. Don't forget to type exclamation point bag in chat until the raffle. She's right. And now here comes a big one for y'all. I'm asking this. As we as we head into the next set, take a look at this. That's right. It's me, Mikachu, actually, Mikachu, who says, uh, "Been away from the internet for a while because of reasons. I haven't been able to watch this time, but I want you to know, you guys rock." And then there's a heart. A uh, heart, no less. Also, I'd like to point out this is a launch day 2001 GameCube controller. Diggy with the officially licensed equipment. We'll see if that helps him. It probably will not. No. However, we will see as we head into the match. So first, Love we're, you, uh, we're uh, sponsoring MCG Dev, it seems. Or, or not. Well, it's we we grand, see the, the, uh, the name grand. entry metagame is five off the wall here today. <laughs> name entry metagame is definitely five struggling five here at Zelda Final Recovery. Uh, so I just want to point out some little history on these players. Uh, Jamie is the defending champion here. and uh, Or no, I'm sorry. You lost, you got second, didn't you? What? Well, what did you finish? Last marathon. Last marathon? Oh, God. I got like this. Oh, I thought you got fourth. Repping somewhere. the Zelda thon right now, guys. There you go. With the lunk. All right, so, so what we sunrise. have here... Uh, Jiggy, Jiggy at Hope actually uh, kind of bustered out a little bit going 0-2 uh, despite some despite some uh, great performances previously. But you know that's how that's how we roll here in the Jig Nation. We have the highest of highs and the lowest of lows, and here he is back in winners finals, back on point. We'll see what he brings to the table. Oh, 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 finals, right. folks, and we're currently deciding which stage we're going to. <laughs> <laughs> we're having some faults on the old rock paper scissors at the okay. scene. Uh, you know, the rock, paper, scissors metagame is probably one of the most important okay. things in any sort of competitive match. Uh, so um, those kind of errors don't bode well for the quality of play we'll be seeing here, let me tell you. Lilac. It's very true, my friend. Now, my, uh, what we're um, seeing now is we're seeing some stage fragment. looks like we're going to be going right into Battlefield, perhaps? I'm, I'm going to ban Trashville, too. We're, we're banning Smashville. Yeah, we're going to, going to Queen fire Country. from Jiggy. Do you mind if you warm up real quick? Oh, uh, yeah, please. Back there. Okay, yeah, Jiggy's warm. moving aside his GameCube because this he realized it's a dumb idea. This is warm-ups. You're a dumb idea. <laughs> this is warm-ups, all right. All right, we got some sick hand warmers here. Let's overanalyze them like, as much as possible. Do you, do you like my yeah, like my you can see... Excellent analysis from MC. As you can see, yeah. I was going to say that Jiggy seems to be not sure how to oh. move his character, but we're figuring it out now. Okay, we're going. Oh, God. Oh, wait, he's like, blowing himself, a little little himself up with the bomb. It, it's a little, it's a little bad. Also, MC, MC with the top tier sneeze meta. A bit of more vibrance. It's just a little cloudy. All right, while we get those hand warmers in, a dollar in from that one furry saying, exclamation point bag, the official mating call of Jig Nation has been sounded. The people have spoken. No, I just said that. But will, but will the, the exclamation point bag be enough to help Jiggy uh, carry the victory? We'll find out. I personally played this Luigi, uh, and Jamie was the one who sent me into losers. And uh, let me just say, this Luigi is nothing to scoff at. If, if you were impressed with Marissa's performance just now, you should know that by 2 owing her, Jiggy did knock her into losers. So Jiggy definitely has established something of a resume for himself here at the marathon. It's true. Uh, so let's see as Jiggy is going to go in here. Uh, with Blue Link, it seems. Yeah, Blue Link is my hero. And hero. Her, I, I would go to... Oh! I got all the $100 and says... Jiggy and James, Boy. not much better than this. Good luck. Good luck. Yep, here we go. The question is, do I root for the homie, do I root for the roomie? We have an official representative Jig Nation, but we also have an official representative of my hotel room. So I'm not really sure who to pull for here. I guess I'll just have to go with some unbiased esports. All right, we're getting on into it. Jamie getting the quick grab in the down air combo. But so, wow, G with the raw force match, no problem. Hey, throwing out Why some projectiles. Well, in the wrong direction, no less, but that's fine. It's like a warning shot. You just gotta fire him out there and see what happens. So far, I'm seeing a lot of uh, uh, by the books play from from Jamie, but uh, and and Jiggy's just gotten lucky with a couple of uh, big moves, which it has given, given him a little bit of a victory. Uh, uh, head, uh, yes, he does. Ha he does. Ha he does oh, have yes. quite the head there. <laughs> no, quite the lead. Now we're, 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 we, got, we got bombs everywhere, but at this point, it seems like uh, uh, Jamie's getting in a little bit further. 
Wow, Jiggy's just rejecting him every time. That's amazing. Oh, nice. The bait. Wow, okay, 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 we got it, we got it down there. Okay, here comes, this is where, that's where Jamie shines. When he gets those, uh, inside of down oh, me, that's a twirly whirly, that's uh, some crazy stuff. Like twirly oh, whirly okay. actually is the official name of the move. Yes, yeah, officially. Perfect. Check the instruction manual. Of, uh, it's, in, it's in with every copy of Super Smash Bros. Okay. for yeah. Nintendo GameCube. All right, so, we're gonna hear Jamie kind of ah, hold in the center. Just, just the rush. Jamie's holding down. center, just kind of throwing out fireballs, kind of figuring out maybe a better approach than he was trying to do before. Jig has oh. is, is done a good job of playing defensive and bringing this back a little bit after a rough start. It was not a rough start. I got the first hit. Yeah, no, you're doing well, dude. I haven't had the lead yet. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm rushing the comment. Pretty even at, at, this, at this moment. Uh, oh, nice. Oh, and Jamie just hits up B, and we call it a day. I deserved it. Oh, All right, so Jamie's again going back and butter. Oh wait, we got that. We got that. That down throw is what's uh, chaining him every percent here. Every down throw. Oh hey, Biggie's throwing out some explosive moves. Some explosive moves. Some <laughs> some explosive, <laughs> an explosive performance from Jiggy here. Absolutely. Oh, literally and. Uh, uh, All right, we're gonna throw out some projectiles here. Whoa! Nice. Oh, Jiggy, oh, that oh, was not games. safe, but well, that's all right. That's all right. We're fine. Incredibly unsafe approach. Uh, Jamie with 58% of extra credit, looking to bring this together and nice clutch out man. a nice two stock. Wow. Oh, there we go, that up smash. We'll, we'll take okay, it. we're in my prime. Jiggy keeping it alive, getting an up smash that will definitely kill at 147, no question. But Jiggy's got to hurry up and bring it back, or else he won't get too many more chances. Oh, bring, bring, bring in Jamie right in the, in the center stage, right where Jamie wants to be. Yeah. That was a scary <laughs> Gale boomerang right there. He sounded the Dust Bowl mating call, and Jamie came. Oh, oh, no. uh, and uh, oh, Link yeah, I'm is, done. is off the stage. Link, 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 unfortunately, does not have the recovery for that. An unfortunate desk game from Jiggy there. He'll look to recover okay. that, too. And as we saw during Skyward Sword, Link there was just trying his no, best to go to save Hyrule. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Hyrule was also where the blast zone is. Yeah, 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 so. These are the sacrifices you have to make. Hashtag just Skyloft things here at Total Time Recovery. Gonna, Isn't it really cool how we can no. we can we take breaks from you know our regularly scheduled you know adventures through the Legend of Zelda? And We're gonna Hyrule. do something we have fun to talk yeah. about yeah. different adventures oh, through okay. Hyrule in the Legend of Zelda. We're gonna do something fun, but, but, but in the world of Super right. Smash. All right, where are you going? Battlefield. Shh. Going to. I know. We're gonna head Battlefield. He's throwing it. I'm not throwing it. We are going to Battlefield. Jiggy looking to not get killed by some Meta easy uppies. <laughs> Jamie has brought out, or uh, Jiggy has brought out the Meta Knight. Interesting. Now Jiggy told me that he only uses the Meta Knight in situations where he's extremely confident about it. It's not something he'll just regularly go to. So he must have an idea about this. Yes. Uh, perhaps uh, you can he, spin. I can spin. We can both spin. Perfect. It's almost like it's brawl. We got some spinning going on. Okay. So so Jiggy's trying to counter uh, Jamie's spinning with his spinning. Now, that's not quite how this game works, but you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that strategy might work out for him. Let's find out. So far, it's not looking so great, but he can come back. Now, 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 Jiggy was Jiggy was quite the Meta Knight main in Brawl, but then oh. again, so was everybody else. So it's not <laughs> a, quite that big of a deal. I played uh, Fox in Brawl with a little bit Yo, of a nerf, so a little bit of a nerf uh, going into Smash nice. 4. But there's still good Meta Knight mains out there. Uh, time will tell if Jiggy is actually <laughs> one of them. That was a scary teleport right up onto the stage, right to where Jiggy yeah, so or right. Jamie was able to up smash him. Simple, simple percent. If this wasn't if this wasn't Battlefield, I'm pretty sure Jiggy's stock would be gone right now. An excellent stage choice from him. No, uh, oh, but wow. yeah, I'm still just no, whirly whirly right what? up into the kill. <laughs> Battlefield nice. coming Wait, through. Wait, no kill, no kill. No, no. no. Battle, kill. Battlefield coming no, through. Wow, no. I looked away from this game because I was, I was so. Sick. That was that was me being stupid. Unfortunately, you can't you can't hold off forever. Even Battlefield can't save you with 140. That's correct, as Zach put the microphone into my mouth. Um, I hate having to compensate with this thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh nice. Oh, oh, with the classic Meta Knight kill from Jiggy showing off. A little, 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 little bit of a gimp. So, uh, some flair. All right, Meta Knight is going to try to try to keep keep uh, keep us even right here. But uh, Luigi, we're going to throw out some fireballs. We're going to stay back. We're going to wait for opportunity. We're going to work out here. We've got four minutes and 11 seconds on the clock, this is fine. Oh, 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 we're getting close. Who's going to get the hit, though? <laughs> Oh. All right, wow, Jiggy wins with some stuff, but uh, kind of doesn't pay off too well for him. Oh. Wow. He was some wow. excellent whoa, 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 whoa. management of his offstage whoa. game. Jamie whoa. with some nice aerial strings there. Oh, wait for the upstage. Didn't happen. Oh. Did he manage to escape that punish? That was that was a 
Good move by Jamie. Jamie now. Ooh, ooh, throwing out those off smashes. <laughs> yeah, every time we see that, you get scared. You, you get a little, you get a little, uh... Dash attack into that up B. Jamie with a nice aerial string himself. Goes okay. to the cyclone. Doesn't is... happen in that up B will yes. kill. And that, that is going to be a duo, my friends. Terrible thing. And, uh... Oh. But Jiggy, Bad. the Jig Nation will always remember Jiggy as their king, no matter how many Luigi's he loses to. All right, now we have now we have, now we have the controversial match. This is my own crew crew member, Jig Nation, versus my own girlfriend. I'm definitely not sure who to root for now. <laughs> I'm gonna root for Falco Master 3000. <laughs> Absolutely, Falco Master Falco 3000, Master. our official stream representative on the couch. Right, guys. Or, or Juan. Juan is also <laughs> playing t tonight, uh, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, there as well as uh, all of our seems to have one is Pikmin. And Shout out to HBox, everybody. It, it's time for Dem Cool Cats. Spam the chat with Dem Cool Cats. You want to win? All right, we're looking for and, so you know, seeking out cool cats as we head into this match. Cool cat, right? You know, you got this, this is a rematch of much earlier in the tournament when Jiggy got something of an upset, I have to say, and knocked Morris into losers. He'll be looking to repeat that performance and get yeah, another shot at Jamie fine. with some new knowledge. And Morris is just looking for that young comeuppance. Absolutely. <laughs> and yes, I said that to be Rock, a, paper, as cheesy scissors, as shoot. possible. Okay. You guys, so by the way, you can keep your nations coming into Direct Relief. We will be reading them I here ban, between matches. Um, we do have time as they have to spread stage and stuff. FG. Also, Hype, we do have Melee coming up after this. Okay. And yours truly is in Winner's Finals Let's by some struck of, a, of luck. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Um, what? <laughs> I just played a game for seven and a half hours. Let me be. Let me be. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what, what this what this match ideally comes out to be is a battle of projectiles and punishes. Uh, we'll see if these players can pull that right off. Right out here. of the bat, joined once again by Candice Finest. Did you, James? <laughs> oh, Jiggy's gone better, dude. <laughs> Jamie, who just played two whole played matches game game with Jiggy, like, says he's gotten a little bit better. He's definitely improved over the O2 performance in Zelda Fon. No, that, that was a, that was a sham. Yeah, I mean, he did get fourth at Zelda Fon Deluxe, so I feel like he kind of just busted out. You know, he was, maybe wasn't feeling it that uh, that many times. I was playing. I played definitely Cloud. showing himself this time. Everybody has everybody has their off days, and this certainly doesn't look like it's one for Jiggy. Uh, Marissa with a nice dare to keep control of things. This is a battle of projectiles when done correctly, uh, but they're both defending against those pretty effectively right now. Nice read, nice read, reeling and roll in by Marissa. Almost getting a kill there, Town and City. You know, you never know. Grab the bomb, let's go. So the thing about Yoshi in this matchup is, although Link has like three projectiles that he can kind of cycle between, um, Yoshi's eggs cancel out all three of them. So it's really a game of who can get the most projectiles out of one and get the approach. Marissa's running away with this so far. Oh my god. Jiggy's gonna have to be really careful. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I no, pushed no. the OP button! Jiggy couldn't find his jump. He searched and no, searched, I, well, I but it one, just boy. wasn't there. Uh, what I was saying is Jiggy's gonna have to be re really careful getting stuck on those platforms. Marissa's ability with up air and up smash could easily well, rack up a lot of percent if you can't get down from there. Marissa is running away with this. She's already got, for the percent lead, a stock up. Oh, amazing. Uh, uh, oh no! That's fine, you're low. You're not gonna get killed by that just yet. Oh, Marissa punishing the Nair on shield with her own jab. Yoshi's jabs come out really, really quickly. So. Jab comes out fast and so does Nair. A great way to get yourself out of a juggle. So he's not getting that rage kill on the dash attack just yet. But Marissa getting a grab. There you go. Oh, okay. All right. So you keep taking off the platform. Up there and really the up pop it. Or the up air, rather. But. No, it's gone. Uh, we'll get the next All right. So you just yeah. trying to camp him out. Marissa is playing very, very safe, very defensively. She kind of needs to because uh, right now she's got the lead. She does not need to approach. With 74% of extra credit, you really do have the capability to take your time. Gets the down throw. Goes for the up air. Jiggy here dodges it. Oh, he lands with a dash attack. Nice job from Jiggy. Yeah. That dash attack is very, very powerful. It's spooky stuff, man. Oh, the Nair, though, almost getting a forward air to uh, combo in, but we keep avoiding one. If she can hit that, if she can hit that fair um, into, into some sort of offstage combo, it would probably kill, especially oh, that. Oh, easy up smash, easy <laughs> mode. Uh, easy mode. Jiggy with a little bit of controller, Johns, but Marissa, with there's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no getting out of an up smash there, baby. No getting out of there. I said you, you can't get stuck on that platform. What? A 2001 I, th that platform can be like a hearse man, just carry no, you away. I, I think, you know what I did? Oh, uh, I rolled. Marissa kind of ran away with that. That was definitely not the same set we saw earlier in Chill Room. 
Uh, when Jiggy kind of ran away with the 2A. Okay. Um, we, see, we saw Jiggy in chill room excellently use rage mechanics yeah, to get a clean 2-0 on Marissa, but it will be at best a 2-1 here, and he's got to turn things Guys, around get the cool nice and fast. You believe Smash Bros? You're banning Smash Bros? I'm banning Smash Bros. Alright, are you ready to go to the dreamland of oh. Smash 4? Yeah, let's go. I wanted to go to dreamland of Smash The actual... It's um, okay. You know what? You, choose. you know what? I'm ready for some... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, instead of going to the Dreamland to Smash 4, we're going to actual, actual yeah, Dreamland. Let's go. This is uh, this song gives me power as a melee Jigglypuff main. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Once again, we see uh, definitely a battle of projectiles. Uh, see the egg canceling out pretty much everything Jiggy has to go, um, and that's pretty much what makes Link a strong character. Is his versatility with his projectiles. So if she can continue to use the eggs to cancel them out, then she's probably going to do well in the second game. Comes in with the dare, is able to combat that and do a jab. Jig is able to get out. And this is the result to go even further beyond! Wait, what's happening? Ah! Ah! Marissa definitely going SSK2 right here. SSK3 rather than right here. Yeah, my bad. Getting my DBZ reference wrong. Jig with an up smash, ties it up at 41%. And uh, is able to get a jab. Marissa letting go for shield a bit too early there, which gets a dash attack. He's got to just train go oh, so far. Around. It's a pretty good match. Marissa goes for the fair spike off the like edge, doesn't connect. She is fishing that fair spike hard. I deserve all of this. All right, gets a grab. Oh. And uh, tries to read the air dodge there, but she barely juices. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh, okay, I'm not dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. Uh, no, up there, first. nope, misses it. Jiggy doing a great job of dodging that bread and butter up air. Marissa can't quite read that yet. But if oh, he oh, nice roll away to get away from the grab. Not gonna reach that far, though. So. Ooh, I was waiting for fair yeah. spike, oh, no, no follow up. Jiggy is able to pull it back, not quite dead if yet. This was another map another one of those, though, and I don't think so. If this was trash bill, I would have killed that one. Yeah. Oh, no, shields the up smash and gets a grab to punish. Let's see what Jiggy can do while Marissa's up there. Gets a stomp oh, no. off, doesn't kill just yet. But, oh, Marissa oh. going for the hard read there. Misses the, oh, shields the dash back. Jiggy tossed out that bomb real quick. That could have been bad if he didn't. I'm Using dead. those bombs effectively. This is a much more even match. Marissa trying to read the air dodge. Gets the oh, up yes. smash. Let's go. I cry. Jiggy uh, went with the Zare there, and it did not the work Zare. out. Gets punished with an up smash. Marissa's up smash reads are absolutely fire right now. It's lit, fam. Oh, but the up smash, that's gonna do it. Dreamland. Speaking of up smashes, Jiggy evens this out. Only 10% of extra credit for Marissa. That's negligible, and now it's exactly even. All right, let's see what uh, Marissa can do here. She's above Link, that's kind of dangerous, but she managed to get it there. Uh, off stage, though. Jiggy running away with this. Surprising, considering Marissa was so good in the first game, but it's not impossible for Marissa to come back. Ooh, jumps over the grab. All right, uh, quick up smash, and... Yoshi's down air is so powerful, man. It's just the dare is absolutely I'm ridiculous. Oh, oh an nice. easy up smash oh, doesn't nice. kill yet, but that was dangerous. Jiggy's got to hurry up nice and bring this back. Though. Nice bomb from Jiggy to avoid an up smash. I oh. want to break your egg. Oh, goes for the run up, up smash. Fox sucks. Jiggy taking it back now, y'all. Looking to camp this out, trying to make Three sure he doesn't done. walk One. right oh. into a mistake. But a fair, no follow up. Oh. There's the up smash. The that won't oh. And up there, up there, up there. The bread that, and This is how it's supposed to be. Put the meta has been turned. We're done for. Triple. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Third place. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Put that bread and butter it's in the toaster. Get some garlic bread. This is how it was supposed to be, guys. Hey, Jiggy, you better duck. Because it's high noon, $12 yeah. from Car Kitty. 33 from Nooch7327 saying, I haven't donated all Zelothon yeah. because today is payday. The script, the script has been fixed. 9001 from Union Hawk saying, haven't been able to watch or donate at all this marathon. Okay. Let's fix at least one of those things. All right, folks, we are going in hot to grand finals here. This is Marissa versus, er, versus Jamie. Number one seed Jamie versus number two seed Marissa. Perhaps the way it should have been all along. Sometimes the brackets equalize like that. Number one seed versus number two seed. Go ahead and vote in chat, guys. Let's see what we get out of this. Uh, MZ. Oh, he's talking to Terry. Can we have best of three grand, best of five grands? Or do you want a best of three? It's, it's late. Yeah, let's just do best of three. Okay. I'm out. Uh, I'll ban.
Marissa's playing hot, had to make the losers run after losing to Jiggy early on, but she has completely brought it back. Vengeance has been exacted and we are back. I guess I'm doing solo commentary for Drans, that's fine by me. And MC has once again answered the call. That's okay. I've done I've done solo commentary at locals before, but uh, it is always a joy to be joined here by my doubles partner and uh, my, my my greatest friend, Gaylord MC. Thank you. Thank you. That's uh, the hotel chain, if anybody's wondering. Um, <laughs> and yes, uh, so we are we are heading right now. Is this, this grand finals one? This is grand. This is the grand finals. All right. Well, let's get it going. Uh, as we can see, uh, currently Luigi with an early lead. That is Jamie. And Marissa trying to find find a find a way in here. And you may have gone one, but the time slips through. And it's worth pointing out these two players know each other very well. Marissa, Jamie, and I, we have a lot of experience with each other. And I know that as the one person of the three of us who bustered out, uh, but Marissa and Jamie have played a lot against each other, and uh, we'll see which which one can come out uh, the better in this very experienced matchup. And there goes there goes Jamie. Good back air, and we're heading into what's only going to be. Nothing, nothing from Jamie. In fact, he's going back into Marissa's favor. And wow, another. Wow, that is, killed, able, that is, is able to turn it right back around there. Back At 134, that back air does bucks. kill. Turns it right back around. And now, with only 58% to his name, he's definitely established a pretty solid lead, and he's not letting up now. Oh, wow, 27%, just like that. Bam, boom, boom, bam. That's how it goes. Marissa's hot coming into these grands, but it's it, the set is it's a new set, it's a new day, and you got to do what you can with what you have now. You can definitely tell that Jamie's been ready for this Yoshi. Uh, he's played against this Yoshi he's online a little bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, Jamie's pulling off some stuff, but uh, and an up B out of nowhere, wow, and just like off. that, the set is over <laughs> before you. Well, the, the, the game is over. I mean to say, before you even had a chance to blink, before you could even say game, that game is over. I did. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I could have actually game many times. I'm here to have fun. Do it. Do it. It's time. I, I, I don't think I'm right. Exactly. It's time. Oh my gosh. Right, I'm gonna ban. Uh, Jamie with the ultimate disrespect. He is going Smash Four Puff. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know uh, Smash Four maybe too well, Puff is pretty close to indisputably the worst character in this game. Uh, however, with a Jigglypuff directly behind Marissa, one could Let's say go. she is surrounded on all sides by enemies. <laughs> so we'll see if she caves under the pressure. For Jamie, overall, is even the worst characters can be do some amazing Jamie things in the yeah. right hands. However, at the end of the day, it is still Puff. It is still a Smash Bros. Puff. Dean Thomas now? The calls that to buff the Puff it's never happened. Calling a Quidditch match? You look like Dean, like the, the little kid. Yeah, so here we go. We're, we're heading on into this. We're on uh, Mario Galaxy FD, which uh, it's a very nice pleasing stage. It's got some good music on it too. All right, hey, let's, oh, let's, it's, let's, it's let's, good the, the aesthetics it's one, guys. truly. All right, but uh, again, uh, Jamie does have a little bit of lead, but this, you can definitely tell that this matches up as well. A lot, a lot more uh, middle ground. Uh, not Sean up in chat. You should absolutely pay attention to competitive Smash more. You are asking if that's something worth your time. As a small-time Smash Four commentator, uh, esports is wonderful. Specifically, competitive Smash definitely make it part of your life. We got a grab. Marissa doesn't go for anything. We were hoping for that up smash, but uh, it didn't work out. One of our one of our wonderful viewers says in chat, but I'm a Smash Four puff main. It's okay, buddy. We all make mistakes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that, that, I think that puff is, is a little too floaty for like uh, Yoshi's down throw in, into up air type combos. Get out of here! Too, a little too floaty for any, for any like true combos or early on. Marissa fishing for that fair on a floaty puff does get in there to break the string. Oh, nice. oh and a down B out of nowhere gets it. There you go. Hey, wow. Well, there you go. And so looking like a uh, game three might be in our future, but uh, we'll see. You know, it's, it's, you know, one song's not a leap. Um, <laughs> one stock is definitely not a lead, even though there are only two said, stocks in this game. Thing. One stock is not a lead. He said one stock is not a lead. All right, we got another grab. The dumbest oh. thing. Oh. Oh. Jamie does get out of it, but uh, is on the edge. Standing on the, on the edge. <laughs> and you could say Marissa is on the edge of glory as she looks for that fair up throw, up air, bread and butter, throws out an egg. Doesn't hit. Eggs everywhere. Oh, it's, look, it's looking like hotel bread or something. Actually, not really. Actually, no eggs at no, all. No, and I'm there, mad about it. There are no eggs. <laughs> there are no eggs here. The audience is mad. They're they are raving about the lack of eggs. <laughs> Marissa is just looking to provide everyone Whoa, with a nice, wow, quality, down nutritious down bread. The quick one that was going to be no. down B. I wouldn't press them. Yes, you don't. Eat that for breakfast. Yo, did he just walk up slowly and down smash? He did. That was a down B, but very good observation. Good try on that. Lunatic James, thank you for 2014 for the charity, who says. The lack of Lucina in this tournament makes you angry. Well, actually, Brooke, the man in the in the wonderful golden hair, 
and the red hoodie, who you will see commentating Melee, Campy himself, actually went with Cena in this tournament and did acceptably. He's also going to be in the Melee uh, bracket. He will be at the play on stream. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we're back on Dreamland for game three. Let's see how this goes. Of course, Jamie has gone back to Luigi. So let's make it real. Let's see. Let's, let's do it up. And hopefully Marissa can uh, uh, find her putting a little bit more in this one and see if we, uh, we can make this a competitive final match here. All right, here's the moment of expertise. Someone asked if Roy is good in Smash 4. As someone who was a Roy main, Roy Evolution, for seven months, no. Okay, all right. That's fine, that's fine. That's a little before there. Oh, Marissa's taking it back. Oh, they whips, but that's all right. Marissa's got that pressure on. Ooh. Thank you. I love when you see Marissa like, get a lot of pressure in, like, like, and you just see her. And then I just everywhere. like. Yeah, absolutely. Tossing out those eggs. Uh, Marissa does an excellent job of moving from rush down back to egg spacing and back. She switches between those with excellent aplomb. You keep saying rush down. I don't know what it means, but I agree. Hey, so. Hey, Zach. Did he tech? <laughs> Hashtag RTSD. Okay. Luigi's going to pass through, get that quick up there. And we're, we're at a neutral. Oh! Was it worth it? That up smack, that up smack. Was it worth Things yeah. stop being neutral real fast, yeah, bro. Let me tell you. And now, and now it's uh, Luigi defending oh center stage. Is able nice, to get in there, nice. and yeah, get that up there. Sure, why not? He said a bad word on stream. Yeah, oh, come on. A quick up smash from Marissa this time. Oh, oh, another, one, another, one. Got another one, another one, another one. Another one. Got stuck another on one. that platform, and that's Thank you. easy up smash fodder. Easy money. Miss the arc this is now tournament Miss stock Miss for Jamie. We're only wow. going to three grand, right? That is correct. Yeah, so this yeah, is yeah, tournament yeah, stock. And now we're last stock in the tournament. It's even up, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> She's got that 3% extra credit. Is that going to be enough? <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. Last stock of the tournament here, folks. It all comes down to this. No, Todd. All right, come on. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. Six months of bragging rights coming in hot. They're spacing each other out. All right, Yoshi, you got this. Oh, whoa, we're getting, we're getting some, get some Ouija stuff. That down air from, from Yoshi. Meant to a full shield stop. Oh, there we go. That back air. Oh, I never know. No quarter. Went for the fair looking to finish this off in style. A few more, a little more percent, and that'll take care of it. All right, here comes, here comes Ouija. What do you got, Ouija? Let's go, Ouija. Gets the grab. Okay, a little there. Oh, ooh, Marissa going coming down hot, but uh, oh, did not get punished too bad? Boy, that's fine. Anything before. Wow. Oh, hold that shield. Nice. Hold that shield, Yoshi. That three-hour dash attack is met with a shield. All these characters have extremely long moves. Oh, oh, oh no! The roll read. A sudden roll read up a six Luigi's months dull. of bragging rights in one press of the B button. Right there, Jamie takes it. All that's right, folks. A beefy up B. Shout out to Jamie coming in from Canada, invading Mars, and now, taking this tournament. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, an excellent recovery from fourth uh, to take first of this tournament. Marissa made the loser's run Yay. back to second. Uh, definitely a solid performance. Her goal was top three, and she definitely hit that. Uh, so a quick shout out. If you want to uh, get involved in your competitive Smash scene, uh, you can find that. Uh, go ahead and look on Facebook. Uh, look on the Smash Bros. Reddit. Go ahead and check around. Uh, if you are in the Pittsburgh area or the Cleveland area, uh, go ahead, go ahead and yeah, stop by at a local. No say hi to me. This has no been uh, this has been Big Nation, especially with Chewy Goodness. Um, shout outs to shout outs to Jamie representing our hotel room fantastically. Uh, we will not be doing an interview uh, because this, I, I, I would like to thank everyone for putting up with our incredibly not optimized not for Smash stream so far. Um, I'm so sorry if, if the commentary is a little That's stilted. A I have to toss a mic back and forth between myself and my co-commentary. Uh, so what we're going to do oh, is Jamie's going to say some words as the victor. Jamie, what you got? All right. Well, first of all, um, I'll talk about how Melee is the game I care about. Smash Bros. is the game that makes me angry. And Marissa knows this. He's a pride yeah. But he didn't taunt with me. Yeah. No. Well, tournament. Play to win. Play to win. Yeah. So Marissa and I play a lot, and she knows this. I get really, really mad when we play each other. So that was really stressful that third game because she seemed to have my number for a bit, but uh, I was able to clutch it out with a good read and upbeat. I was that was a huge risk doing that, but I'm glad it paid off. And Jamie, your number is eight six seven five three zero nine, correct? Uh, yeah, phone it up. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you hit him up. Uh, send him that hotline bling uh, to congratulate him for uh, for his victory here in the Smash Four tournament. We're gonna move into melee now. No, we're moving into Smash.
We're gonna move to Smash 2, that's correct. Thank you, Jimmy, for correcting me. I am not a melee combat. Game of one. There's Game and Watch. That's the one who's the main So I will not be, uh, I will not be commentating melee because I, <laughs> I am not a melee commentator by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, go ahead and stop by the Smash 4 local on uh, Pittsburgh, Cleveland. Say hi. Get involved in your scene. Make sure to rep the Zelda Fun tag. Uh, and get some exposure out there. Go I'm going to transfer over to Melee, and I'll let, let the professionals take it from here. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, it should be. Get on with it. Yeah. Oh, Come on. What? <laughs> I still have a set sort of place for melee. Perfect. We're not perfect. Make the game louder. No. All right. So if, I don't know if you guys remember, last night um, we put a, a uh, donation goal up for you guys at 192,000. Uh, simply titled "Let It Go: The Beard and Bacon Edition." Uh, unfortunately, the beard tried to kill himself last night with hot sauce. Oh. No. So uh, we're ready to do that now. Can we get Can we get Cham? Or can you want us to wait until after? Okay, after melee, you're gonna have "Let It Go: The Bacon and Beard Edition," and, and you're gonna love this. I think. <laughs> Korea! Let's get it going! What that fuck was about? Is this winter semis or what is this? Jamie. What's up? Is this winter semis, winter finals? This is winter finals. This is winter finals between Jamie and MC. Super MC game. I can attest that that puck was annoying. <laughs> that puck is what knocked me into losing bracket. <laughs> Tonya! <laughs> <laughs> Someone was pushing me into the mic. That's two stocks already. I looked away. <laughs> yeah. Jamie is a hot fight. Is definitely knows how to edge guard here. Up air, up air.
Wow. My friend. Oh, he tries to get the heart free. Barely in space to it. Easy. Oh! <clears throat> Battlefield coming in and being Battlefield. Doing what he does best. This is the rest. How's MC gonna punish this? Mm, it's not gonna kill. It was a good option though. Jack throw? That is not looking good. And that's game one right there. It was very quick. Something that MC needs to do coming into this next game is to try to hit the. Uh, try to avoid grabs more often, and when he does get grabbed, make sure he's DIing it in the right direction. Like that. And. Mission failed! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Jamie, Lee, Jamie definitely knows how to cover those. MC is just not looking too crispy right now. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Looking like H box. And that's gonna be another stock. It's gonna be a four stock. I hope sure hope not. Back throw, MC constantly just behind that down. Or not up, which is the direction you want to be in. And Jamie. Bring me, bro. <laughs> that was the quickest 20 and a handshake I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> well, Jamie in Winners Finals, now in Grand Finals, I've achieved all waiting I've Grand Finals, that is, set MC Fox into I got Losers finals. finals, that's right. Where we have Brooke waiting. <laughs> Brooke known for his foul catch, too. That's right, we do have donations. We had a $20 and 20 cent donation from Urkel, with no comment, and a $10 and 10 cent donation from Lady Zyke. Thank you, both of you, for the donations. Ready, hand warmers? Hand warmers. I'd be surprised if Brooke went in without any hand warmers. Going through the banning process here, I missed everything that currently happened, so someone is banning some stages, and we're going to Battlefield. That's not Falco. That's not Falco. That's not Falco. Yeah, it, act it, 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 is, it is Falco. It's actually Fox also. No, it's Falco. It's definitely, it's definitely Falco. Anyway. 
pretty even so far. Just kind of trying to hold neutral. I do the ledge cancel. That's awesome. <laughs> 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 Brooke tries to punish the up B. Oh! But hits the side B. Meteor cancel. Meteor is MC. MC just doesn't meteor cancel it. Brooke trying to space MC out with some lasers here. Trying to hold the neutral. Give as much extra credit as he can on the stock. Falco gets the up smash instead of box. Charges an F smash. That was a good hit. MC, unfortunately, SDs. Up tilt kills. That was interesting. to read some donations. We had an $11.11 .11 cent donation from Popsky, he says. That's awesome. And a $25 donation from Amber and Jeff, who says, We love Zeldathon. Keep up all the great work you guys do. Kind of. Brook goes for the moonwalk. Looking slick. That's the F smash. That's gonna be a two stock. Going over to Brook. I'm like, is that somebody pushing the A button? I'm like, what's going on with it? That's how you want it. Yeah. MC. Even though, in his Fox cosplay, is electing to go Ganondorf. I'm not sure if MC knows how to play Ganon. Or if Brook knows how to match up against the Ganon matchup. Ooh, up tilt. Definitely it wasn't on purpose. A lot of stray hits. <laughs> hits and bobs, and that was a dare. That happened. Another down up tilt from MC. That's the third one this game. I want to think of that they're all accidents, but three within the last minute and a half seems less like an accident. Laser, for keeping neutral. Doing a great job of keeping center stage. Ooh. 
Ooh. This is over there. Weak back here. Tries to keep him off the base. Lands an F smash. From uh, Ganon's getup. Ooh, up B or down B, very punishable when Ganon lands on stage. being off stage for the SD. But it was a really awkward situation. Even that hit was really strange. It's the weird hitbox that gets sent flying upwards. Down tilt follows. Up tilt? Combos. Ooh. All right. That should do it. That's game Almost two. Admin, though. MC elected to switch from Fox to Ganon for game two, and it doesn't work out. But it did look like it worked a little bit better than his Fox was working. Cool cats in chat for that Ganon representative. Up next, we've got grand finals between. Jamie, our current reigning Zeldathon Melee you champ, and Brooke. <laughs> Space go. animals represent. Yes, and for all those who are asking, Ocarina of Time race is right after Grand Finals. Thank you. they're doing hand warmers. I think they're just going straight into it since they're already banning. And they what? banned a the fountain of dreams. First, yeah, this is definitely game one. It's very interesting. So something that Brook's gonna have to do during this matchup is just make sure that he doesn't get off stage. Because as we saw with uh, Jamie's match against NC, when a Spacey gets off stage against Puff, especially with Jamie's Puff, they're gonna have a hard time getting back. <laughs> Luckily. I'm sorry, it's a Spacey thing. <laughs> wow. That was that happened. Like a good start for Brooke. Oh, 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 I believe. <laughs> Both players really trying to space each other out here. Hit with a back air near the edge. <laughs> Ooh, up to a rest. It's so hard to DI. You have to read it if you want to hit it. And no punish. Brook was just slightly too late for it. But during that, we had a $10.10 donation from Just Chronix, who left a comment saying, I need to go out for a bit, but I'm not sure if I will make it home for the end of the marathon. Sad face emoticon. In case I don't, I want, I would like to take the chance to say thanks for yet another amazing Zelda fun. You guys are awesome! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. I'm already excited for the next one! Exclamation point. Colon D. P.S. Comma. Team Rice for Ocarina of Time, exclamation point. Thank you for a donation, Just Chronics. Back to the game. I don't know what happened, but Jamie has taken two stocks very quickly. 
and is now back in the lead. He's doing a great job of spacing Brook out, and that's going to be game one right there. Good old fountain of memes, everybody. Brook started off very strong, but just couldn't finish it up later in the match. While Jamie, on the other hand, was doing a great job of being where he needed to be when he needed to be there. Brooke going Fox. Now, I talked with Brooke before this, before this match, and he has said that he likes this matchup better. And I think pretty much anybody can agree because it's a lot better matchup for Fox than it is for Falco. Having a uh, stronger rec and larger recovery, it can uh, Fox it can live for a lot longer. But with the stage choice, I'm not sure if that'll make much of a difference. He has the death throw. Doesn't miss it this time. Falling back air. Not too bad of an option. Gets another back air and takes the stock. Yeah. Jamie was just holding center stage, waiting for Brooke to go straight in. He knew what he was going to do for that stock. Now this is potentially tournament uh, tournament match for Jamie here. If he wins this game, tournament game, as it is, if he wins this game, he will take the tournament. And it looks like he's doing a good job at that so far. Brook SDs after going for a falling out there. It's not looking good for a homeboy. My homeboy. I'm trying not to be biased, but. Puff sucks. We're collecting for a lot of falling aerials. And it seems to be working out. I think what Brooke needs to do here is throw out a few more up smashers to try to take out the stock. Because definitely at this percent on this stage, just any up smash would kill Puff. So Jamie knew that and tried to space around it. Ended up landing a forward smash That's on Brook it. and takes and the tournament. Two game champion. Thank you all for watching. That was Zeldathon Melee. Uh, Jamie wins rather com yes, commandingly. I'm not sure if he lost a match at all this tournament. I'd have to see the uh, I'd have to see the brackets. But that's it. That's it. Thank you. Guys, for watching, we are going to move on to our next game, which is the Ocarina of, Ocarina of Time race between two people, two brothers, two men. Duke it out for a fight. The quintessential we'll Zelda experience, Ocarina of Time, is next on Zeldathon. Who will reign supreme in our salty race, years in the making? Will it be Come King on. Bacon or the side of rice? They shall complete.
slowly and down smash. This is it. It's really good though.